Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are actually going to dive into a few applications. I have done some of these videos before but I think I will do more of them going forward. Applications that I am really excited about because Recently I've been doing a lot of like first impression videos where I've talked about like my first impressions of different applications and I still have a lot of reviews to do on those. But not every one of those actually get me really really excited but there are some applications I test out that uh, make me really excited. So in today's video I have one I've tested out before and talked a little bit about on the channel. I also did a video on them right before uh, Christmas that is routine. We have a new one which I have made a video about recently but I am making the review. This is also an application I'm currently testing out as a daily driver for me personally. And then the last one is, um, I would call it a writing app. That is probably uh, what I would define it as. It feels like, I would say that it feels like um, Cursor, uh, the coding app just for, uh, just for, uh, oh, it is standing still, just for writing. Uh, my brain just stood still for a second. Uh, so Cursor. Um, I would say a cursor for um, for writing. Let's just jump into the first one routine before my brain stops functioning again. So this is like a task management tool uh, based in France. Uh, we have an inbox feature, we have calendar, uh, we have a calendar here as well. Here you can see my calendar. I think I've just one of them uh, connected. Uh, here you can see the different tasks. So these are pre-made tasks. All of them have like test next to them. If I click this you can see that it opens up a page because you have basic uh, note taking inside of here as well. If I just press enter and I do a backslash you can see that it isn't actually that uh, basic. Uh, you have things like a list view, a table view, a board view uh, in the pro plan. Uh, you can also actually add media to this. So you have a full on task management tool like a literal task management tool with daily planning and inbox and you don't have to build a database or add a plugin to get good task management. Um, and I think they uh, did it was a good idea to nail the task management first before you jump into the note taking. I also love how they implemented their like uh, their um, uh, inbox feature with their notes so I can quickly take notes and not have to organize them until I get back and I can organize them when I'm back here. Uh, so I really like the idea of that. Uh, but I am also really excited about what is coming because now we have calendar projects is coming soon we already have knowledge collaboration is coming i'm not that excited about this but i know that there are some people that will be really excited about this uh, it is currently as you can see available on mac windows linux ios android and web so widely available uh, but here you have the knowledge part which is the uh, note taking where you can have like a page and you can have pages uh, nested underneath each other. I still uh, like the last time I checked it out I did not like uh, this way of taking notes. I didn't like the organization behind it but now we're getting projects as well. So these are projects. It's basically just a board view, a database view uh, which I showed you that you can get on the pro plan but if I scroll down a little more you can just see that there are integrations here as well. Um, but this is the thing I'm looking for. Turn data into meaningful information. Custom types. Basically this application is also turning into more of a like uh, more of an object based note taking app. So you have default types, you have custom types, so you can have task, event, allocation, person, page, you can add project, movie, book, commute. This is super super exciting. Having custom uh, uh, 
uh, types is super exciting. Uh, also, AI is always a thing that is coming or has turned up in different applications, but I really like the idea of custom uh, types. I currently don't have it in my workspace, so I'm really excited to see how uh, this will look once it is out. And I think, like, someone commented it on one of my videos, but having a task management tool doing note taking instead of the other way around, I think that is a little uh, exciting because it seems like note taking, just basic note taking is much easier than having to build like a good task management tool. I struggle more uh, with finding good task management tools uh, than I do finding good note taking apps. So. Uh, it is really exciting to see uh, see something like this. The next application is also, I would say, a new one. This is called Space Duck, and this is sort of a I would call it a blend between something like Milanote, uh, which a lot of people are familiar with. You can see that I've added a few things here, actually a lot of things. It is a blend between Milanote and I would say my mind because you have this visual aspect of it. Let's see if I can find my uh, HMD, this right here. So this is a bookmark I've taken uh, and you saw, the, uh, you saw this right here. This is the image here I have some uh, videos upcoming uh, but you can see that you have this like visual way of looking at it just like you have in uh, my mind for those of you who have tested that it also have automatic also has automatic ai tagging as you can see here all of these tags are from ai this is inside of my wish list category so if i just show you categories as well if i now uh, jump into my space uh, I think I have categories here. Here you have categories uh, with things inside of them. Uh, so if I jump in here, you can actually see my uh, database. Basically what this does when you put things into a category, it actually turns it into a database. So sort of like objects in an application like Tana, I'm doing a full review on this, but you also have task management here. So you can add statuses to things and do real task management. So a blend between a project management tool and a bookmarking tool, which I find really interesting. You can also look at this in a Kanban view. This is my uh, like resources uh, space. So this doesn't have any tasks inside of it. But I really like the idea. You can also uh, add tags so if I or add uh, links. So if I go in here, you can see that I have a backlink here. This is for a YouTube video uh, I'm doing later or a blog post. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but uh, I am uh, really excited about this application. You also have a research assistant so you can talk to uh, your items in a space. Uh, you can also change the model here, so you can have a GPT-40, Cloud 3.7 Sonnet, or Gemini. You can also press Add uh, to chat with everything in this library, selected items, or just a general uh, chat. So a few possibilities here. Uh, I like the blend between like AI organization. I've always been a big fan of AI organization. I really liked my mind, uh, but it didn't have enough like... Um, uh, it didn't have enough project management tools for me to use it as my note-taking app. Uh, but I really like the idea behind it. I also am a big fan of Milanote, so this is a blend. That's why I am giving it a chance. Uh, it is really early stage. Uh, a really early stage product. That's why I'm really excited about it. I want to see where it goes, how it develops, uh, because it is still really rough around the edges. Some features need to be changed. Some features need to be added. There are a lot of discussions in the community as well. Uh, but I am really excited about it. I think it looks like a really interesting product. The next one is one I've talked about a couple of times on this channel, not extensively because it hasn't been something I've used extensively. I've tested it for two blog posts. So if I jump into one of them, it opens this up. This is 977 words. This actually shows me additions and deletions. Uh, so 
I really like this graph. I like pretty things. I like good design. Uh, but here you have one of my blog posts and I can ask Lex so I can discuss with the AI from right here. I can choose a different model. So we have a few uh, you can choose from. Um, Lex free recommendation, Claude 3.5, uh, GPT-40 mini, Sonar by uh, Perplexity, Mistral 7B. Um, or you also have the pro models which you will have to pay for uh, so i will show you the pricing of this later but you can see that there are uh, quite a few models you can choose from and you can discuss but you can also have like grammar checks uh, cliches readability passive voice things like that you can also add a custom one uh, you can turn on focused sessions uh, and there you can set targets like how long you're going to work, how many words, things like that. Prompt builder, uh, you can uh, build your own prompts. There are videos here as well. You have your settings and you have uh, you have share. Uh, so here you can see some of the prompts that already exist. For example, the grammar one. Uh, so basically how this works is that you can chat with AI as you go sort of having like a co-pilot for your writing is probably what I would call it. Um, so the idea has always been really exciting. Uh, I tested it out back when it was in a really early stage. I like the interface, I like the application, but uh, it is a little expensive at $18 per month for someone that doesn't uh, write regularly uh, like I write uh, sometimes but uh, it isn't a huge part of my life I think for people who use this like on a daily basis uh, their whole life uh, or work depend on writing I think this is a great tool uh, so I really like the idea of this application and um, I am really excited about it because as I've like looked at it and jumped into it like from time to time, I feel like the application just keeps getting better and better. The user interface gets better. And also, of course, the AI models get better. So this application in general will feel better. So um, sort of like Cursor, uh, I, I think I called Cursor um, AI uh, um, coding application. It isn't that. I think it's an IDE. Um, anyways, that covers it for uh, today's video. I'm pretty sure it is an IDE based on uh, based on uh, VS Code. Anyways, um, this co that covers it for this uh, video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. And if you want to see more uh, applications I'm excited about, I will do more of these videos as I look at applications, roadmaps, and just uh, follow along in the productivity space. So a lot of uh, exciting things coming, going forward. Uh, but anyways, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Please do leave your questions down below and I hope to see you again quite soon.